Just two days after Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas made a three-day trip to Oman, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made a surprise visit to the Sultanate. It's the first time an Israeli leader has visited the Gulf state in more than two decades. In a joint statement, Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Omani leader Sultan Qaboos said they discussed ways to advance the Middle East peace process. But Oman's foreign minister says the U.S. still needs to play its part. We are facilitators in many situations that can help convince opposing parties on how to reach an agreement. When it comes to the Palestinian issue, we believe the mediator that has to play a new role is the U.S., and particularly President Trump. Iran criticized the visit, saying Israel aims to create divisions between Muslim countries in the region. Netanyahu and his wife were joined by a large delegation of Israeli officials, including Mossad intelligence chief Yossi Cohen. Oman and Israel do not have official diplomatic ties, but Netanyahu insists relations between Israel and Gulf countries have been growing, due in part to a shared opposition to Iran. The Iran deal has had one positive consequence. An unintended one, but a positive consequence. By empowering Iran, it brought Israel and many Arab states closer together than ever before. From an Israeli perspective, this is a, this is a big win for Netanyahu. I think you know, he's going to be facing elections next year. He wants to show his base and, and the Israeli center that he can continue to be tough on the Palestinians, um, but, but build bridges. Uh, with the Arab world, and so this is, a, this is a, a clear boon for Prime Minister Netanyahu. President Donald Trump's attempts to broker what he calls the deal of a century have so far been fruitless, stalled after the U.S. moved its embassy to Jerusalem. But warming ties between Israel and its Arab neighbors adds pressure to the Palestinian leadership to cooperate with a new era of peace talks. Mohammed al-Bardisi, Al Jazeera.